Hi, and welcome to a Crop and Create delivered video hosted by Scrapbook and Cards Today Maxi. I'm designer Jen Gallagher, and today I'm using the Candy Cane Lane to create a second layout. I've already created the first layout, so be sure to catch that video here on YouTube so you can see how I've used the kit to create the first layout. Today I'm using the striped pattern paper. It has a blue as well as red and pink into gray color stripes. On the back is a snowflake print. To start the layout, I've taken another strip from another piece of pattern paper. It has a bunch of words in here. Kind of, kind of reminds me of like a Christmas dinner words. And it has this print on the back. And it, is, it is about an inch tall. And I'm going to place this down on the gray strip. I want the blue strip at the top, that till strip. And then from the blue diagonal stripe pattern paper, which I used in the first video, it's the one with the wood grain on the back, I just cut another rectangular strip. And I'm going to place this one on the diagonal, but you do want to make sure that it is still tucked behind that word strip. So I'm going to reattach that making sure that it falls down there. Then I'm going to take one of the wood veneer shapes that says memory. I'll use glue dots to adhere it. Again, when you're placing glue dots on the back of a wood veneer shape, I try to add them to a part of the design that hides the glue dot. and I just put enough adhesive to hold it in place. You could also use liquid adhesive if you prefer. Then above that, we're gonna take these glitter thickers, and I will warn you, they do have glitter all over them, so your project and you are gonna get a little bit glittered up. You can see as I slid that out, some of that glitter goes flying. And we're gonna spell the word holiday. And I'll start placing letters down but I won't stick them all the way down until I have a feel for the placement of how I want them. So don't stick them down until you know exactly where you want them to stick. And you can spell any word you want with these awesome letters. They're very thin and very tall, so they fit in more narrow spots or less tall spots. So they make for a fun title. Now you can see as I place them down, I didn't try and match heights or the bottom edges. I kind of placed them kind of going up and down. And I'll show you a little bit better what those look like. You can see they just kind of move up and down. Now for the top of the layout, we're going to create kind of a faux pennant that runs across the whole page. We're going to do that with a bunch of different pattern papers and a photo. And then I have pre-tied with the snowflake ribbon two strips into a knot. And we'll just trim these off a little bit. You could actually put stuff onto actual twine banner pieces that goes across your page, but I want to show you how you can do it when you don't have that. So what we're going to start with is I've taken some of these cards, the ones that have the 12 days of Christmas, and I've cut them so they're a little bit more narrow. Now I want to show you some things that you can do with them. You can tear the bottom edge. You can take a strip of pattern paper and you can cut it into a triangle. Basically, I want you to think about how you can be creative on each piece. You can take, I'm gonna use the five here. You can also cut these cards. If the word is high enough, then I'll add a triangle at the bottom. If not, I'll do something else like with decorative scissors or the tearing like I did with the number one. But again, all of these cards have been cut a little bit thinner. You can see that this one is a little bit more wide than the one, but not by much. And you can decorate these. I'm going to take one of the silver bows that's included in this collection, and I've been playing with this for a little bit, so I am actually going to use another glue dot, even though it has adhesive on the back. And I'm going to put it right below that five. We'll take a strip of the green pattern paper as the trees on the other side. And again, I'll cut this into a triangle here at the bottom. 
And then for the nine ladies dancing, I have one of the clear snowflake stickers from the sticker sheet. We'll place that on the nine. And then in the center, we we'll place one of the puffy stickers. And I'm going to cut this one into a triangle as well. How you cut these is completely up to you. Make it your own. And then to the edge here, I'm going to take a piece of the red cardstock to which I have cut out a red scallop border. I use some large scallop scissors that I own, but you could also use decorative scissors. I have a photo. I have this pink pattern paper. Again, I'm going to cut a triangle in the bottom edge of this. And then I have one of the Studio Calico journaling cards. So now we're going to layer all these different items so you can get a feel for how this banner is going to look. Again, you could punch holes in each piece and then string them onto the page, but I am going to just, like I said, do more of a faux look here. So we'll add this green strip here. Then we'll place the Nine Ladies Dancing card. You can see I'm just kind of building the banner flat on the page. And I may need to manipulate things as I place my photo down. So I want to start about the same height here on the other side, and I want to make sure that the banner doesn't run off the page. You may have to lift and change things depending on what you're putting on your page. I have a big strip of the pink here. You can see, again, just create banners. You can use up your scratch pieces of paper, whatever you want here. And I'm going to layer the photo actually on top of that pink banner. So think about things that you can put on top and things that you can put on the bottom. And again, I'm going to move some things until I get the placement exactly how I want. So I do want that photo to be front and center. Now again, we have these two bows that we have tied into knots, and I'm just going to place a glue dot on the back of that knot. You could punch a hole in your page and do this as well. When you slip it into your sheet protectors, just make sure that your ribbon goes all the way into the sheet protector. Again, just a glue dot on the back. I love that gray ribbon. And then you can further decorate the page with additional stickers. I'm going to use this Happy Time sticker right at the top here. And then I'm going to take some of this gray ribbon to wrap it around here. And just add a little knot of that gray ribbon just to add some more texture down here at the bottom of the page. I try and keep the weight so it's all over the page, meaning the eye can go in different places. add some more stickers. I'm going to take the Great Memories one and just place it slightly behind so that blue sticker comes up. I'm trying to create some more weight up here at the top. And then you can add some additional stickers throughout the page. Again, just keep going until you feel like you have enough dimension. And then we'll add some dots on either side of this holiday memory board. So here is the second layout using the Candy Cane Lane Kit. Be sure to subscribe to our Kit Club so you can receive all of these beautiful kits and watch for additional inspirational videos on our YouTube channel.